Staples Court with the Cutlers. What I want to know is, how is it that these women are making allegations and how does that make you feel how with they get your, your relationship? Phone I mean, the second... We talked about the first there time. There it is. The it, second time, oh, how did that oh, the happen? First, listen, I'm going to tell you, the first time when I came to her, I said, woman, this is what it is. She said, so have you did anything with it? I said, no, I didn't do anything with it. It was just basically just okay. talk, just talking. So what was that woman so, claiming? They were just uh, claiming that I was cheating. By having sex or by flirting? We were texting. So you're texting back and forth with this woman? Right. Okay, and what are you texting? Just... Pictures of... No, she texts me pictures. Pictures of what? That thing was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did this I, woman you know, text you pictures of? Uh, 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 where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Her what? private parts? Exactly. Yes, okay. Y'all. Okay, did you send anything back? Yep. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Of your private parts? Mm. Yeah, I all did. of you? No, not, not all, all of you, of you or just... That... Pieces of me. Okay. okay. Were those the pieces where the sun don't shine? Of that you course. ain't got no business sending nobody. Okay, Miss okay. Gardner, how did you find out about this? He showed it to me. So but this you... wasn't one of your associates. This was you. No, no, it was me, yeah. It, it was, was you. No, yeah, of course. And you're, you're texting with this woman. Uh-huh. And she sends you pictures of her private part. Right. And you send her pictures of your private parts. Right. Like, and I then would at be some so point, scared, she tries like... to say she's going to make it known, and so that's when you go to... No, I then guess. it was like the chick would say, I don't know what they, she was supposed to get pregnant by you. It was like, all, it was crazy. But, okay, we, Mr. Ne- but we've never I, met, like... I, here's my question. How do you do Why that? are you sending and receiving naked pictures when that's... you marry to this beautiful woman? Go again, on. again. You are right. right. Why am I doing that? But again, like I said, I used to be out here. I used to be out here dealing with multiple women at times, you know, five, six women at one time. I'm you, I'm, I'm basically, I was a thought. <laughs> I had no intentions on getting married. I had no intentions on ever being with one woman. But we was married. But I was so. trying to work on it and I told her, listen, I was out here. I was used to this. I'm used, it's not a, it's not an overnight process. I'll, but I'll, listen, I'm trying it the best I can, but I slipped up and got caught up. So this exchange of pictures with this woman, was that the time where you brought, where, she, where you all were laying in bed and someone said, hey, this is out here? No, that was the second. That was another time. That was another time? Yeah. But they used it. Whoever it was, that was the same yeah, pictures. it was like the from, same Like, then it became... Like, it was just somebody... You know, somebody started playing. It was just messy and... Because I was okay. just like... So that's how, was... how is it that you turned to Cynthia or Lil Mo or mm-hmm. whoever you were turning to at that moment... And explained it to her. And explained this to her? What did you say? Like I said, I don't pull no punches. I don't, I don't know how to finesse it or make it sound good or anything. I just come out straight and say, yo, this is a girl that I've been texting. And, and I said, why? Because I don't have no dudes. Know. I be texting. <laughs> you know, then it got to the point somebody said they was pregnant by him and I said, well, where's this baby at? Was that... And that was all in the social media? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened? I mean, how did you find out that this woman was doing they this? They sent it well, to a we, blog. I and mean, then it says, oh. uh, side girl, uh... Side, angry side chick. It was like something... I'm still waiting to see the baby. But, it, so but a couple days ever, later... Nobody's ever come forward with a baby. They never come forward. No. They never come to nobody. Church, and we're and, Muslim, so they don't ever pop up at the masjid, nothing. All right, so why are you waiting to see the baby if you never slept with her? I'm gonna see... They must know something I don't know. Well... Do they know something you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know the woman? <laughs> Do I know the woman? Oh, the social media, yeah. But you've never personally... The one this person never had a name attached uh, to it, so I don't know uh, who I don't, these people are. I'm ready to see the baby. All right, so the mystery woman who's pregnant, that's not the same woman that you sent the pictures to. No. It's a different woman. Yeah. So I, were you I, with I, this mystery woman or not? Mm. I, okay, social I, media is great. Social media can do a lot of things. Social media can't, can't get a woman pregnant. Hello. And so... What, you gonna have a daggone virtual exactly, baby? You're, you're right. So, right. so she's lying. So this isn't about your social media account. It's not about it's not. your associates using it to get some play. It's not about you flirting or sending pictures. We're talking about, did you... There's no way, impo- no way possible that she woman could have been pregnant. pregnant. There's no way impossible that she... Basically saying he never had any pregnant. sexual contact with anybody else besides me, because I ain't had no sexual contact or no conversations with nobody besides him, but... Okay. Like, and, and, and that's what you're telling like this said, court. Yes, there's nothing going on really in my life that she doesn't... anything she doesn't know about. So, since you have been married, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? No, Your Honor. And I told her before, 
this is the first time in my life I can actually say I can't even remember the, the last time I had sex with anyone else besides her. All right. So you love your wife. Of course. You want this relationship to work. Yes. You want this my, marriage In my to mind, work. yes, I, I don't want, I, I'm work, trying to work this relationship out. And in my mind, it's like this do or die. Ms. Dargan, I have to ask you, woman to woman. Yes. Not little Mo. Yes. I'm talking to Cynthia Dargan. <laughs> How are you managing as a woman all of that intense pressure? Because it's one thing to be dealing with an issue of infidelity privately, mm -hmm. but you are all on Front Street. Hello. Just it's, it's really no way to answer that. It's no way to deal with it. You just like. When you're married, it's a, if I was just his girlfriend, I'd have been like... But that's what I'm so used to doing, just... It, just people do what they do, so... When you were talking to me about reading all of this and just having this... your personal life out on... out in the streets, mm -hmm. I could tell it's hurting you. Yeah. That's why we have uh, contacted and had a friend of the court come to share with us from a blogging standpoint what this looks like as a celebrity and how these stories get started. Okay. Ron, would you please escort into the courtroom Danny Canada? Yes, Your Honor. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing, Your Honor? All right. It's good to see you. Good. Miss Canada, yeah. so, you're from Bossip. I am Bossip.com. Bossip actually stands for Black Gossip, mm. and we specialize in covering stories like these. Uh, we talk about entertainment news, and uh, we average over five million unique visitors a month. Wow! So you're touching a lot of folk. Yes, definitely. Huh. So what is the fascination we have with celebrity relationships and, and their interaction mm -hmm. and what's going on? Well, Your Honors, I think what it is is that it makes us feel better to know that even people who are beautiful, that have these amazing celebrity lifestyles, can be betrayed and played like us. So when you have someone like uh, Lil Mo and mm -hmm. Carl Dargan, um, that just... I mean, that's a, a story the blogs just take and run with. Absolutely. It's a huge story. People are just fascinated by celebrity cheating scandals. Mm. So, a story like the Dargans with allegations of cheating, how, would that, how did that get started? Uh, that started through a tip. Someone contacted us. Mm. Um, they showed us these alleged text messages. And it just went from there. We had to... Obviously, had to talk about it because we had heard these rumblings for a while. And this dates back to 2014. And every time we wrote about this story on the website, it was our top story. We averaged 70 million page views. And every time we wrote about this, it was a top story for our website. Wow. So... All these people are responding to Lil Mo's husband allegedly cheating. Yes. We had people in the comments section arguing, mm. saying, oh, I don't believe that. Other people saying, of course he did it. He's trying to come up. So it was just back <laughs> and forth the whole time. I'm trying to come up. Yeah. Right. You see what's happening in the media. You see what they're... the way they're demonizing and scrutinizing from Usher no to everybody, but to, from idea. Kevin Hart. Like, the way the media... Soon, like... Even if it's something honest to getting a cup of coffee, oh, you saw that it's always gonna be something. So you literally have to become a prisoner in your own home. Stay home, go do your job, and bring your behind home. Soon as you say hi, soon as you like, soon as you follow, you're automatically putting yourself on in the in the line of fire. Miss Canada, do you ever have any concerns about the effect? How do you all manage that space where these are real people right. with real lives. Well, like you said, Miss Darden is a, a real woman. She's our superwoman. We remember her from back in the day with the blonde braids. So we remember that, but also we have a job to do. Mm -hmm. So we have to do our job. And if I get this story on my desk, then I feel compelled to write about it because this is something our readers are going to want to see. Unfortunately. Yeah. And when Miss Darden said people want the celebrity, but they don't want the backside of it, this is the backside of it. This is the backside. This is the messy side of it, for sure. So the stakes are are really even higher for this. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's not only relationship, it is a worldwide viewpoint right. on their relationship. Yes. Right. So people <sighs> want to say, see, told you so. Because right. even if it come back that ain't none of it true, that, nah, they got to do that again. It, 
is no nobody it wins in the situation. It, again, it just behooves you to what just. It is. Okay, so Miss Darden, there have been a lot of rumors, a lot of headlines. There are gonna be some headlines from the day. Any apparently, rumors about me? Not, not yet. Not yet. I can't wait to see what they got to say. I did, Miss Darden. <laughs> there's a lot on the line. Mm -hmm. Whatever, however this comes out, it's gonna be all over the world. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? I mean, how are you feeling getting ready to find out the questions that you've been wondering about? I mean, we had this discussion before, so it's just like... It's just clarity, clarification on actually going through the motions of, I guess, tangibly making it evident what people have been saying. So, have you prepared yourself for the results either way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Either way it comes either out. Either way. I'm always prepared. So, I right. gotta ask you this. If it comes back that there has been some fun on the side, then what? We'll just see. Oh, that scares me. I'd rather you have said something. Don't be scared, that, because that, you have to always... Right there you have to always remember, when you do something, what's gonna be the end? Don't, don't do nothing if you can't handle what you... You can't... I always tell people, my ending is impeccable. Well, let me just say this. And let me say this to you, because you didn't see what I saw. Mm -hmm. That's for happen. real. Be, I, I, and you're right. Cynthia and or Lil Mo means business today. That look I saw was nothing but business. Oh, yeah. It's for real. Oh, yeah. Did you see what I saw? The most dangerous you saw. Oh, okay. And if you ain't seen it, you me. I'm not even married to her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. To get to the bottom of this, mm -hmm. to get the answers, to get the results, to find out what's going on, the court has ordered a polygraph examination mm -hmm. of Mr. Dargan, and we have the result. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Kendall Shaw of Kendall Investigations into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Shaw, how are you today? Great, Your Honor. Thank you. Would you please state your credentials for the court? I was privileged to spend almost 25 years with the FBI in Washington, D.C., then became chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program in Washington, D.C. Before I retired, moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I have my private business, which is security guards, private investigations, and polygraph Kindle investigations. All right, so in this case, you perform what's called a single theme polygraph examination. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you ask the same question a number of different ways just to see what the responses are from the person being examined. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. All right. You asked Mr. Dargan, since getting married, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife that she doesn't know about? You also asked him, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife since your wedding day that she's unaware of? What was his response to those questions? His response to those questions was no. What did the polygraph examination determine? What did the polygraph examination determine? Unfortunately, the lie detector determined he was being deceptive. Right. Mr. Dargan, are there women that you've had sexual intercourse with since you've been married that your wife does not know about. Say it again, I'm sorry. Mr. No, I Mr. Not, Dargan. I, I, I thought it was more to the question, I'm sorry. I mean, Hold I mean... on, Mr. Shell. the polygraph came back deceptive. What else can you add to this? Uh, if I can also add something that uh, this gentleman said to me after the polygraph test... If Please I, do. He uh, <laughs> mentioned to me that uh, there were, was a time when he told his wife that uh, he may have had sex with somebody. Mm -hmm. But he told me there were other instances where she didn't ask, so he didn't tell her. <laughs> Thank God I ain't have to take no test. Well, it is what it is. It says that and it says that. Like I said, I told y'all what I said and that's, and that's what it is. Let me just tell you, Mr. Cutler and I have been together. We've been married 28 years. Wow. I'm aware of that. And you cannot be married and messing around. <laughs> Ms. Dargan, you came here looking for answers. You've gotten answers. What are you going to do? 
I really can't answer that right now. What? Because I have to... I have to, Right now, now that, I have, now that I have to process it, I have to mm-hmm. pray. Well, all right. I applaud your courage to come here and face mm-hmm. the truth. Yeah. You want to process it. You want to pray. You should do all those things. Yeah. And this court has counseling resources for you. We want you to take advantage of those. Okay. To help you as you move forward. And as we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned. Every marriage, every relationship, every person has their own issues. And, you know, you just, you just know what you know. We're going to pray and we're going to stick together because I think we deserve to be happy.